second example of our node voltage um, applying to a circuit, what we did was replace the original uh, 5 ohm resistor with a 20 volt source. Now, how do we handle a double, a double source? Okay, and it's very similar. Okay, again, our assumption is KCL only. Okay, now from KCL only, we start analyzing. Now, what's the first thing we do is you just grab the node. Okay, and that this is just node A or whatever you want to call it, and understand that this is going to ground. So, all the paths, so the first path is here, second path is here, third path is here. Okay. So starting from the node, you draw a path to the ground, the central node. Okay, so the central node and you have secondary nodes. The second thing you want to do is above each source, so this is a source, you would put a temporary node. I call this V1. Since this has a source, I could put a I put this in, I call this V2. Okay? Those are my initial assumptions. Now, third thing we do is you draw in the currents, right? So we assume the current in this direction. And the reason we make these assumptions because I found that this is a foolproof way to do it. If you don't do it and you draw opposite directions, it really creates confusion. And you really do not want to create any confusion. You want to be as simple as possible. Okay? I2 is going in, and then draw I3 going out. Okay? Now, once you get good at it, you know, you can be creative with it. But for right now, we want to keep things, um, you know, our, our simple principle. The principles need to be as simple as possible so that you're able to solve any problem that you may never have seen before, but you'll be able to adjust and be able to you know, use the same method and solve all your problems, okay? That's how we want to operate. So first, first thing we write in node A, uh, we have VA, okay? Node A has a voltage of VA, okay? And we type in just simply node A KCL. For node A KCL, we, we go ahead and type it, we go ahead and write in sum of the currents of a node is equal to zero. The sum of the currents in and out of a node is zero. And assume that the current that comes into the node is positive. So sum of the currents within a node that are going in and out of a node is zero, and the assumption that the current coming into the node is positive. So any current that comes into node A is positive. So is I1 coming in or out of node A? I1 is going into node A plus I1. Is I1 are going in and out of node A plus I2. Is I3 going in and out of node A? I3 is obviously going down, so it's minus I3. Okay, equals zero. Now what we do is we analyze each of the node, each of the currents, I1, I2, and I3. On the left hand side, we type in write in analyze. I1, I2, and I3. At I1, okay, one of the things we want to look at are the signs. Before we start doing this, I'm sorry. Before we start doing this, we want to go ahead and put in the signs. So if I1 is going in this direction, which is from this direction, I'm pointing this direction, is going to obviously drop. I2 is pointing this direction, is going to drop. I'm sorry, that's the wrong, that's the wrong direction of the drop, I apologize. Okay. Okay. I3 is going in this direction, is a drop. So now, okay, what we want to do is we want to circle. We want to be able to circle the closest polarity sign to the node. So, for, if we go from here to here, the closest polarity is here. If we're going to go from here to here, the closest polarity is there. All right, the second sign. Here, as you're traveling this way, the current direction, the second sign is here. Second sign is there. As we're traveling down, right, we want to have that second that sign right there. Now, what this sign does. Okay, it determines the, the, the actual sign of each of the nodes. So, let's give an example. Plus V1. Minus VA. All over 5. Okay? Which is really what? 10 minus VA over 5. At I2. 
plus V2 minus VA. over 15, which is 20 minus VA over 15. Now, if you get these uh, really kind of funny fractions, know your answers in decimals is going to be off a little bit, but it's going to be very close to the answer, right? We do not want to operate in fractions. You want to operate in decimals. Uh, fractions make math much more difficult, okay? Plus VA. So at I3, plus VA over the total resistance, which is 10. Okay, now you're ready to do this, right? So I1 is 10 minus VA over 5. I2 is 20 minus VA over 15. I3 is VA over 10 equals 0. Okay, so now what do we do? We simply put it on a calculator to get the, the decimal equivalence of the fraction. So 10 over 5, if I do 10 divided by 5, and I'm doing this just to show you how simple this is, is 2. Assuming a 1 in front of VA, so what is 1 over 5? 0. 0.2 plus. 20 divided by 15, 1.33, okay? Now, if you want to do this in fractions, be my guest. I don't want to do this in fractions. 1 divided by 15 is 0 0.067. So this is minus 0 0.067 VA minus 0.1 VA equals 0. Okay. So now, what you want to do is you want to add up like terms. So here, 2 plus 1.33, right? Plus minus 0.2 VA minus 0.1 VA minus 0.67 minus 0.67 VA equals 0. Okay, so this is 3.33 plus so what you do is you minus 2, minus 0.1, right, minus, um, minus 0.67. So that's minus 3, uh, 6, 7, VA equals 0. Okay, so this needs to be a minus sign here. So if we flip to the other side, we get 3.33 minus 0. 367 VA equals 0. Why am I not skipping steps? I'm not skipping steps because I make a mistake because I'm doing a video. Otherwise, I'll probably skip a lot more steps. But just to help you go over uh, kind of the math, math nuances, right? VA is equal to 3.33 divided by 0.367. 9.07. So B, VA is 9.07 volts. How do we handle this? We simply plug it in. So this becomes, the problem becomes very simple. Okay? I1 is equal to 10 minus 9.07 over 5. So 10 minus 9.07 equals 0.93 divided by 5 is 0.186 amps. Now, your answers may be slightly different due to the decimal places, but it should be close, okay? I2 
is V2, which is 20 minus VA, which is 9.07, all over 15. Okay, so 20 minus. Point seven three amps. I three is VA over ten. So this is nine point oh seven over ten. Is equal to point nine oh seven. That was kind of silly of me. Nine oh seven. Okay, and you see that these numbers come out. If I add I1 and I2, I should get 0.907, right? So if I type in 0.186 plus 0 0.73, 0 0.91. So 0.916 and 907, there's going to be slightly off, but this is a very close number. You can go ahead and accept this number. Um, so that's how you do KCL. I'm sorry, that's how you do node voltage.